I was on the phone with Kemar yesterday, and this is a conversation we had. Respect and loyalty. Hold on a minute. Hi, Kemar. I apologize for my miscommunication. Honestly, this is all just from me assuming something that was inappropriate and I don't think that it should come between business and something that's something beautiful that's brewing between you and Amari and her- what the hell is she saying it, so it was my conversation and Desi felt bad that Ernest is not coming out so she said let she leave a message for Kamar what is she saying one trending TV catch this for me so Amara went live this morning, very early. Um, basically, she was having a conversation with Kemar and Destiny intervened and tried to fix up things between she and Kemar. But Amara still have the idea that something went wrong between Destiny and Kemar. So watch the video and leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video. I'm out. So, larger percent of one trend in TV. You know, from Beauty Bling and us, that, that gun. Um, I think it's going to be a wonderful birthday. I hope I have no pain today. Let me tell you, sometimes, like yesterday morning I woke up, I wasn't feeling no pain. I was like, is life real? Let me tell you something. When you feel pain all the time and don't feel pain for a minute, it's like life is so beautiful till you wonder if you're living. Wow, my luck ran out. By the time I got in the car, oh my gosh, pain galore and everything. I was like, oh my gosh. But I don't know, that angelic feeling that I felt before the pain came down, you wish it could just last forever. What I'm trying to say based on that conversation is that we are only humans. But beyond this life or this lie, beyond this lie, there is a life. You know, where you, 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 the type of body that you have, it won't be in pain. You understand? Because God got a new body prepared for us. And do not waste too much time in this life. Focus on boats, house, cars. I got up this morning and I was thinking that, you know what? Certain things I don't even think I want anymore in life, like a car and all these things. You know, because yesterday I made a vow to to God not, to not be like the world. Too many things are happening and COVID is gone and everything and people is back to being real devils and ignoring everything. Like my, my ex-manager said to me yesterday, he see my funeral in his head all the time. Imagine my funeral in his head and I'm saying, wow. Wow, you know, people have really lost it. And I'm saying, listen, Kamar, I need to put out the song because something is about to happen. Something real, real bad is about to happen in this world. I tell him, I need to work for God. I need to be, be putting out these godly songs. You know, I want Ernest to go out there. And he's like, Ernest is not going out there. Find another producer, blah, 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 blah. And then I say, now I know, now I understand life, you know, where I came to you and um, I came to you. Um, yeah, David, uh, David, I'm on live. What's up? It, it's, you know, it's 2.30. It's 2.30. So it's like 5.30 by you. Why would you be calling me 5.30? I just woke up. Oh, Okay, I'm on live, son. All right, bro. Motherfucker, you did not say happy birthday. Oh, mom, happy fucking fuck birthday. You, fuck, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Happy birthday, mom. No, how could you not know it's my birthday? So the spirit woke you up to tell you that it's my birthday. And you it's got up and birthday. didn't even know why you got up. Because mom woke you up to tell you. To say happy birthday. Birthday. 
birthday. Hey, my daughter-in-law. Yeah, thank you. I'm 54 years old and looking like a doll on Instagram. Damn. <laughs> thank you, guys. I'm on live. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, David. Okay, you got to make up some more later. It's my birthday. Wow. Yeah, so like I was saying now. Mm -hmm. Oh, remember I told you that I have some audios to play for you? Okay, let me play them for you. I was on the phone with Kamar yesterday, and this is a conversation we had. Respect and loyalty. Hold on a minute. Hi, Kamar. I apologize for my miscommunication. Honestly, this is all just from me assuming something that was inappropriate. And I don't think that it should come between business and something that's something beautiful that's brewing between you and Amari. And what the hell is she saying? So it was my conversation and Desi felt bad that Ernest is not coming out. So she said, let she leave a message for Kemar. What is she saying? Maybe we can continue doing business in the future with respect and loyalty. What is she saying? I, I apologize for my miscommunication. Honestly, this is all just from me assuming something that was inappropriate and I don't think that it should come between business and something that's something beautiful that's brewing between you and Amari. And hopefully we can continue doing business in the future. Well, you, you figure out what she's trying to say. And Amari's not recording anyone here. This is my daughter on my phone leaving a message for Kamar. Let's listen to it one more time. Hi, Kamar. I apologize for my miscommunication. Honestly, this is all just from me assuming something that was inappropriate. And I don't think that it should come between business and something that's something beautiful that's brewing between you and Amari. And hopefully we can continue doing business in the future. Amari was upset with me for leaving the studio and I let it get out of hand. I didn't know what was going on in the studio. Me personally, I don't feel like Amari should be left alone where she has to watch the clock to see where either one of us are. And then it just led to further assumptions. But I apologize for my misunderstanding. Amari is sick and expects me to be of anything. So I shouldn't have been on the side of the street at 3 a.m. in the morning. Amari's always fighting for you. I was upset about not receiving the $200, and Amari was defending you and everything you have already done for us. Amari fights with us for you. When we was, I kept asking about the hotel money, and she keeps defending you. That was what I was talking to my daughter about. You understand? And she kept coming at me for $20, because she say you promised her $200. And I tell her, just let it be, because I had already just spoken to you. So I told her, just let it be. You will come through at the right time. You understand? Because I understand your dilemma and what you were going through with the cash up situation. And, you know, she kept pressuring me. You understand? We just have to move on. But if anything where I'm wrong, I'm super professional when it comes to um, delivering. If I'm offended about anything, I said it even before I came to Florida. I just need you to focus on me. Nobody in my family, nobody in my entourage. If I'm the artist, focus on me. You understand? Don't offer no opportunities to my entourage. It's about Amari. I've waited 40 years to go on this journey. You understand? That, that's the thing about me. It's not even to focus on me, focus on the mission. 
like right now, you're so distracted. You're focusing on these little fishes, little fish, when you need to focus on the big fish. That's me. You know, what is all that going to add up to? Mm? Would you like build a land on a build a house on a plot plot of land that you know don't stand firm you need to build your house upon the rock <laughs> what are you doing building your house on the sand with all these stupid people who don't have no spirit no mind no soul huh what are you going to tell god you need to know where your priorities lie for example how did my handmaid, the one who's supposed to do my hair, end up being in your studio? Dude, you need to see the level that you're on and stop picking up stray dogs. You understand? Because you pick up stray dogs, gonna let you end up picking up also stray bullets. You feel me? Because you ain't even protecting yourself and staying with the elite. You mix with the dog shits. Anybody can walk into Kamar's studio. They don't have to pass no tests in life. They just have to be a nobody straight up. Yeah, but with or without you, I'm going to make it. But you will always be my forever friend. Remember that. Because I'm just like you, being used and abused and managed to still keep my head up there. But you, you've been used and abused till you don't even know your value. Yeah, but I'm a classy kind of dog. You understand? Not the kind of dog that has no value, what they call them in Jamaica. I'm not one of them. I'm a pedigree. Sweetheart, so, I realize that you just like mongrels. I'm a pedigree, baby. <laughs> Sweetheart, I realize that you just like mongrels. I'm a pedigree, baby. Yeah, that that was when I was telling him about the dog thing. And then he was like, I'm one of the dogs when I said this, right? You need to know where your priorities lie. For example, how did my handmaid, the one who's supposed to do my hair, end up being in your studio? Dude, yeah, you that that's to... beauty bling that he be screwing right in his... I think Kamar wife is like this stupid bitch because he gets away with so many things all in the name of music. You get what I mean? So he bring this stupid bitch in his studio, say, recording her because she want to be queen of dance hall and she want to be bigger than Amari. This done out hell. Let Derek tell you about her. Y'all is right in, right in her, up in her face. He's screwing this bitch. You understand? See the level that you're on and stop picking up stray dogs. You understand? Because you pick up stray dogs, gonna let you end up picking up also stray bullets. Yeah, stray dogs, this non talented bitch. Over by, was over on Facebook, right? I go over on Facebook and see people dogging the, the, the bitch. And I was like, no, 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 come on now, people. Took up for her and got the people to bat the fuck off. This non-talented, dog shit, stupid bitch who need to pay me my money but live at the casino gambling her life away before she pay me back my money for helping her man to sleep in her friend basement. And uh, I don't know what kind of friend that is because the friend turn around and charge her and probably screw her man too. I'm telling you, people be walking around here acting like they somebody when they nobody. I, I'm going to tell you, this song, this song came out like a year ago, right? And it's just taken off straight up. She tells, stop call up my blood clot name. Stop call up my name. Anybody can walk into Kamar's studio. They don't have to pass no tests in life. Yeah, bitch be talking about. Oh, all your songs I gave someone else to sing. Who the fuck cares? They don't have an audience. Ain't nobody know a fuck about them, you dog shit. Shit out. Stop calling up my name. Then the motherfucker wrote a song for stinking ass um, ugly blinks. R write a song um, to come at me. And which just don't make no sense whatsoever because both of you are two dirty, stinking, 
Amsos, Crablos, nasty, dirty, raw slot. That's what you all they are. You have to be a nobody, straight up. A nobody, a nobody. You, you ever see nobody's real want to talk down to you? Tell them, shit house, don't call up your name. Nobody's. I'm a somebody. You hear what I tell him? I tell him. Sweetheart, I realize that you just like mongrels. I'm a pedigree, baby. I should have said, I'm a pedigree bitch, but I wanted to be classy. So I was like, I'm a pedigree baby. But let me tell you something. One thing you will learn from Amari, don't back down when people be coming at you. You understand? Why you think I managed to stay so young? 54 years old. Happy birthday to me, July the 22nd. You get what I'm saying? I managed to stay young. And I'm not, I'm not boasting about beauty. Um, on a serious note, I'm not boasting about youthfulness. Because what is it? It's nothing. You know, one has to be happy that you even live to see another day nowadays, you know. And you got to be grateful. You got to be thankful. And on a serious note, it's not about no beauty outside. If if I reach 54 and still can't find the beauty on the inside, it makes no sense whatsoever. It makes no sense. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not going to stay around here talking about I'm pretty and uh, I'm beautiful and I'm young because it's an honor to grow old. 54 in six years, I'll be 60. My gosh, I feel honored. Like, mama, I was, I got up this morning and I was like, my gosh, it's amazing because 54 and I ain't even got a gray hair on my pussy. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that's so cool. And I mean, my, my sister, she one year older than me and from about 10 years ago, I'll go a pussy gray up. You get me? And um, you know, some some people they they have to shave at a, a, a after they're reaching their thirties because their pussy be all gray. You know what I'm saying? And then I have to thank God because my sister one year older than me and she start having gray. And uh, you look in my, you look on me, I still ain't got no gray hair. Every now and then one come and I don't know where they, they end up, you know, uh, you know, maybe it's my jeans, you know, but hey, it's my birthday. And um, I decided that, let me tell you something, music doesn't give me money. Music takes from me and music have caused me to live on these streets. Music have 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 bought me through so much that I've decided from now on I'm no longer doing music unless I get money for music. I'm not going to take my house money no more and put out a song. I I can't do that. You understand? I have to make sure that these things are taken care of. You know, so um, if I do go into the studio, you know, I'll ask my fans, I'll be like, hey, guys, you want me to go to the studio today? All right, let's do it. If you all want to donate a penny each, whatever you want to donate, and we get to studio. So we're trying to come up with $280. And um, we'll if we come up with it, we'll go to studio today on my birthday. And we'll voice, um, we'll voice, um, no, 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 no. what's the name of it? Miss Wonders and Sign. It's a great song to um, put out on my birthday. We already got the beat. I already bought the beat and everything, you know. And I know the type. Of, I, I have some family friends. They are like, oh, um, here's the money. I, you know, here's money for your birthday. And if it comes like that, I'll just go studio with it, you know. Yeah, so that's what's up. Once again, I want to thank you for um, your support for last month, you know, to help me to get back on my feet. But I got to pay up the back bills and you got bills too. So don't be like giving your last to me or anyone or any pastor. Make sure you take care of the bills. You know, you only give if God touches your heart too. And there's usually that one person that God touched their heart and they be like, Amari, I got you for studio today. Like um, when Desi was needed to come from New York, you know, one goodie, you know, step up. I'm even shocked even now 
when I think about it, you know, one goodie just stepped up and took care of everything for destiny. Um, several goodies stepped up and helped me, you know, in my situation from Florida. And I want to thank you every day of my life to say thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you want to have a party in studio today, you know, this is what I ask for. To go to studio, we just need a cake. <laughs> and uh, it's good to get on your birthday and studio time to be sponsored, which should run us $280. We already got 50 Okay, but in case that's not your wish or God's will, we have a big song rolling out there now. We have the biggest song right now trending on the internet in dance hall. We did it, goodies. Yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah by Amari. Hallelujah by Amari. Okay, and that's my real birthday gift because you all sent it viral. I didn't ask you to. I got up, it went viral yesterday. Yeah. And so thank you. This is my birthday gift. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, or over here to the mix up there. One trending TV.